Hi guys, it's Miss Christy and today's art day. So I've got an exciting little fun project to do. Um, it involves paint. So you need to make sure you have your paint, get your paper plates to use, get some paper, and get your creativity going because I'm going to show you all the things I made with paintbrushes. Look at all this. I went out into my yard and found all kinds of different things to paint with. I found corn, I found a pine cone, all kinds of different flowers and leaves and branches. I even found tomatoes. I found a vine of tomatoes that looks really fun to do this with. Let's see if I can get some paint on them. Boop, 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 boop. Watch. It makes a whole bunch of dots. So, I challenge you to go in your yard and find a bunch of stuff, like this guy, that you can paint with. The one thing you'll need to find in your house are some clothespins. We're gonna practice our pincher skills and we're going to pick up our items. Look, this one I already painted with. I'm gonna try that again. I had fun with this guy. This was just off of a pine tree. You dip it in your paint and let's get a fresh piece of paper and you get a paint with it. I want to try this one with all kinds of different colors on it and see what happens. I like this one, it makes a splatter effect. You can do this with some stuff inside your home, like pipe cleaners. This guy kind of makes some lines. Let me show you. Look at that. And then you can take your flower. We've used flowers before. Get some paint on them. And you got yourself a picture of some flowers. Isn't that cool? So your challenge here is to make your own paintbrushes. This was so much fun. I did it with a whole bunch of stuff earlier. So you've seen me do it with flowers to make our um, fireworks. So in the clinic, we've used these before. Great fireworks. And another thing that's great for these is you can practice your cutting skills. So our friends that are practicing with scissors, you can hold it as the parent and your child gets to practice cutting. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just fun to practice cutting. And then you get to ruin it with some paint and make some fireworks on your paper. We've used plastic forks before. You know what? The plastic forks came in a little kit that had some paper and some plastic. Oh, here it is, some plastic. You could use the plastic with your clothespin and paint with the plastic. I would love to see how many things you can come up with. Um, another pincher skill is, where are they? The cotton balls. We've used cotton balls. You can use cupcake liners. That would make a cool little imprint. You can cut some pieces of ribbon, clip them on to the end of your clothespin and paint with those. I'm excited to do this one. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of paint on this and make a big leaf, just like this. So this one, you could work on your pincher skills. You could work on the painting skills. Tap, 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 tap. You could tap it onto the um, paper and then press, press, press and see what you come up with. All kinds of things, guys. I'm so excited about this project. This is one that we've used in the clinic before. We made balls, moon balls out of uh, foil and then we've painted with them. And the paint gets all over your hands, it gets all over the paper, it's so much fun. If your kid does not like to touch the paint yet, if they haven't gotten to that point, pinch your skills and you've got yourself a paintbrush. So you can use these standard old paintbrushes here. 
This one is actually really cool. This is a good learner paintbrush, but it's so much fun to go find this stuff outside and see what you can paint with as a paintbrush, a natural paintbrush. And then you can just throw it away later. Such a great project. I actually had so much fun. This is what I worked on earlier while I was practicing. Just all kinds of splatters and lines and dots. I'd love to see your project and your paintbrushes create something new. Okay, guys, I will see you next week. Bye.